Hello, peoples. I am Link Hate Scannon, and welcome to the Crooked Man. Now, I've watched Pity play this, and I am honest, I've never played it before, but get ready. Because it's very emotional. This game contains some of the presidents of Harvard's recently. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. That sounds like a Mother Goose rhyme. We finally things look done here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Now I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice! The three of us are could go out drinking. I'm looking forward to it already. Well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. They're so sweet. <laughs> I like this game already. Alright. So, how do we... Arrow keys! What happened to Wasta? <laughs> oh, well. WSD. Huh? Sheesh! Paul forgot his license. I should get it back to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. Yes. Eh. Uh, eh. Huh? What? You hear someone. What's with this place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace. And that will not help him, you hear? Look, what I can do, he's not the richest guy, you know. He can't even afford much furniture. Besides, he told me to look for a place, right? You don't, don't come complaining to me. Now, I cannot read right now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. Alright, so I'm guessing that's Paul and Marion. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. Talking to it's distant. The license can wait. I guess I better get to bed. Oh, David. David, what? What? Phone? What the? Phone? Hello? Who's this? Shirley? I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my day was in a new place. My first day in a new place. Ah, la 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 la! I cannot read! Man, I'm tired! Ugh, sleep. My best comfort. Ah, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I can't really hear anything because it's turned down so low. I, I should go complain. Alright. So, boom, boom. At us! Knocking against no response. Knocking against no response. At us! Yes! Who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it, it's just... I can hear you from my room even... It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? No, Nobody should ask someone to stop crying. Huh? What do you say? I'm going to sleep until you will get to be up. You're, you're trying to start something? You're the guy that moved into 205, right? There's no way you hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. 
Man, David. Seriously. Your answer to everything is sleep. What the? Okay, now I actually hear the noise. Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? Hmm. Under the bed. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Yeah, you're right, David. Bad taste indeed. <laughs> uh, uh, under the bed, huh? What's down here? Hmm, found something. I don't really need the mouse for here. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. Writhing. Ah, la la. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What is this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to back to bed. And wake up. That sound still. Where's it coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. I don't hear a sound. I probably just need to... Okay, there's phone. I hear phone. Hey. Hello? Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No, no. I didn't mean... Just... I'm busy with work, so... Yes. I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Okay. Man, I slept into noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Alright, David. Give it a snap it. Give it a snoo. Paul, what is it? Uh, yeah. I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Woo, thanks! Uh, so, are you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of childish brack do you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Is it? This actually has a pretty good story so far. Ah, la, 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 I can't say anything! At us? Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my! If it isn't little Timmy, you suddenly grown? I'm David. Good, you look healthy. Uh, sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved into this great room with furniture and everything. Blah, blah, blah. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live together. My wonderful, get along with Linda, will you? I can't say anything. I'll just skip this. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, yes, you opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe we should buy from there. What? Mom. Oh! Who'd you be? Why are you here? How'd you get in? This is my room. You have the wrong room. Or do you have the wrong room? Uh, who are you? Say something, will you? M Mom. Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Whoa! Somebody! Somebody! Miss Hoover! Please, Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away, blah, blah, blah. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy, is that Davy boy? What are you doing? Why are you leaving me? Huh? Mom! If I was going to go to the I would be fine. Don't you have a. I know I sound like gibberish right now. Mom! Alright. I have to stop it for now. Let's go before it down. Okay, so I have to stop it for now, and I want to keep recording, so. Alright, so I'm going to keep recording, and I'm. 
I'm possibly gonna merge the past video and stuff. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah. Though I guess she did, still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things. And she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better. So you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can call... I, I hope you can help her. Ah. <clears throat> Alright. Back to What the? Chair, you moved! Did I move that chair? Hmm. There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenant. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Hey, how are you doing, Chest? Let me... Let me look at you. Let me look at you. Yeah, Mr. Chest. Chest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, enough with the chest right now. Oh, what am I doing? Another phone call, eh? Who are you? Hello? Hey, David, how you doing? Ah, <laughs> you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you ever know you, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... S sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see you. Dot, dot, dot. Ugh, I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. What the? TV! Why'd you turn on? What the? Okay. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? What? Oh, whew. This is creepy. Yeah, it is, David. Did it say sink? What was that? Okay, probably I have to check here. Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. Get your scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. And he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat which cocked which caught a crooked mouse. I almost said cocked. <laughs> and they all live together in a little crooked house. Isn't there some other girl? I just, I just said that in the beginning. Oh my god. David, you and I have the same mind, buddy. Why is this here on the desk? I guess a previous tenant. This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Yeah, David, your answers always sleep. Mine too. For a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marine's help, but... Okay. Is that a kid I hear? What kid would leave in these beat-up apartments? Oh, it's another crying person. Heck. Maybe they're lost. I should go check. Do do do. Of course, there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. You were just asleep, David. Huh? What? What happened? Jeez, it broke. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. Coffee set you gotta be kidding me. This room is really, really strange with its voices and TVs. What is this? Oh no. Oh no, it's people. My knights. 
All right, what happened? Uh, hi, Paul. This is David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live here in this room? Yeah, I don't know. You ask the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. Landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Okay then, knights. I need you to be courageous for me. I don't even know why, but I just wanted to say that. And us? Oh, hello! It's Mr. David! What did you do? Ah, uh, I'm sorry for sounding so racist. A uh, good day, miss. I, <laughs> I just wanted to ask something, you see? About the room I'm in? Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these moments have been <laughs> people coming and going. Now, what was, what was that boy's name? He wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really, he just up and left out of the blue. Ah, uh, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents and find the previous sentence if you like. No, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Oh, nighty. Sorry, I wasn't very useful. Okay. That man my age. I can only wonder. Oh well. I'll get back to my room. Back to the room. What? What? Why are there tracks on the floor? They really have to this wall. There's something in this crack? I got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I know it's for anything in here. I wonder where. The guy's voice gets voices. The mirror write, writing. The TV turning on. The coffee. <laughs> it's like a folder guys or something. But I would have thought the landing lady would mention this kind of thing. So what's going on here? Not that I would care if there's more ghosts here. I wouldn't care much if they haunted me and killed me either. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What the man who lives here? Did his stuff happen when he was here? Not much to think about it. I'll just call it a day. Okay then. Nah, nah, David. Nah, nah, Davy. What? Where's it coming from? Is it inside the house? Oh, I know what this is. Ha! It came from in here? Oh, that was an exclamation. Radio, what's it doing in my closet? I don't care, I still love you, Chest. Hmm. There's something on this paper here. It's an address. Special place. Alright, so back to the What? I'm waiting for you? What? I'm I'm waiting for you? What why did How and when did it What Oh, I know it's... Oh, I know it's my night. So, did you sleep well last night? Blah, blah, blah. I have to skip all of this. I'm sorry if it's not that much story in this episode, people. Alright, so... This is the end of the first act. So... Basically, David... Really wants to go over... And to this place. So, I am Lake Gates again, and I will see you- wait, no. Alright, back again. I wanted to finish this act real quick. There! 
Looks like there's an address on the mountains. About a five hour drive. Did the former tenant go there? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. Can't stand this place anyways. Listen, David. Go. Go and be a free monkey. Prologue. David's room. End. Alright then. So that was a good prologue. So, yeah. That was actually a very good one. So, eh. 26 minutes. It hasn't really seemed that long. Oh well. So, yeah. Subscribe down there if you like. Right by. Whatever. Like, comment, subscribe down there. And I am Lincoln again, and I will see you later. Oh, wait.